I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is Psych Hacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is the part that women always leave out. So what is this referring to? This is referring to women's answers to the question, what are you looking for in a man? I've listened to a lot of these responses in my life, and what do they typically sound like? I want somebody kind, somebody who makes me feel safe, somebody who's emotionally supportive, somebody who wants a family, somebody honest and loyal and committed, etc. Leaving aside the fact that and is expensive, all this sounds reasonable enough, right? However, it turns out that this response like really messes with men's minds. But before I back up that claim, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to this channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and probably burns a calorie or two. So do the thing. The fact of the matter is that there's an important part that women always leave out when they answer this question. And this omission really confuses men because if you're a man and you listen to this answer sincerely, you might think, well, geez, I'm loyal and I'm caring and I'm honest and I want a family. Aren't I what women are looking for? And of course, these men typically are not what women are looking for because they're the ones asking what women are looking for. However, they could be right about all the other stuff. They could actually embody the traits listed by these women. So what's the issue? Here's the part that women leave out. The part that is really important for men to hear. Women do want all of those things, but they want them from the men they are already attracted to. Sounds obvious, but the inclusion kind of makes a big difference. Women are not listing the factors that cause them to be attracted to some men over others. They are listing the criteria that motivate them to choose some attractive men and not other attractive men. They assume attraction and maybe believe it's socially unacceptable to say so explicitly, but there it is. And this understanding has two really important consequences. First, it should drive home that female attraction is not based on the things that women explicitly list as criteria in partner selection. Remember, they want these things from men they're already attracted to, which means that the attraction comes first before they know whether the men in question possess these sought after traits. Almost every woman has had a sexual relationship with at least one man who has not been loyal or kind or emotionally supportive or family oriented or any of the things that they claim that they're looking for in men. And why is that? Because they made the decision based on their attraction, which logically could not be based on traits that were not present. And here's the second consequence. Men, with this understanding, your prime objective should be to become attractive, to become a man that women are attracted to. That's how you get your foot in the door. And the good news is, it's really good news, that most of the things that actually relate to female attraction are things that you can learn and develop. These are things like being physically fit, knowing how to dress, learning the art of charming conversation, choosing a life mission, attaining success, and picking up some game. These are things that women respond to. And these are also all skills that you can learn and they all benefit you directly with the indirect benefit of making you more attractive to women. So what's the holdup, gents? And that's what I have for you today. If you like this, please be sure to check out my playlists on similar topics and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for listening.